Hi, my name is David Roy, and I'm the Fort Collins City Council Member from District 6 in Northwest Fort Collins. Have you ever thought about participating as a member of a board or commission in the City of Fort Collins? One board that I'm very excited to talk to you about is the Citizen Review Board. This independent board makes sure that there's a citizen perspective to allegations of misconduct by either police officers or members of community services. By participating, you make sure that the citizen's voice and perspective has a chance to be heard. Hi, how are you? Hi there, I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Can I ask you a question? Can you tell me how I could file a complaint against an employee of Fort Collins Police Services? I sure can. There are several ways to do that. The first is to come into the police department like you're doing right now. You can also call us. You can send us a letter. Or you can fill out what's called a citizen complaint information packet. That's what this is. You can pick that up here at the police department, or you can find it online, and that's at www.fcgov.com. Okay. Is there a non-police department agency that reviews complaints on police officers? There sure is. It's called the Citizen Review Board. My name is Harry Edwards. I'm a member of the Citizen Review Board for the City of Fort Collins. There are approximately 18,000 law enforcement agencies in the United States. And as of year 2000, only 100 had citizen oversight committees. We were established by the city council, and we answered to the city council. Uh, we do not fall under the police services at all. We're independent citizen volunteers. Uh, we have seven members on the committee. We have representatives on our board from uh, Hewlett Packard, Colorado State University. I, for one, am a career counselor at uh, College America. We have a retired Navy yeoman. We have an electrical engineer, a paralegal. Uh, these are people just like you, uh, just like me, that um, live in the community and have expectations of their police. Sometimes we'll agree on different things and, and sometimes we won't, but that's good. We want to have a, a certain diversity of thought in uh, how we approach things. What happens once I fill out this complaint packet and return it to you? Once you make the complaint, it is documented, reviewed, and then assigned to an appropriate supervisor who will do the investigation. Statements will then be gathered from the complainant as well as from uh, any witnesses there may be and then the employee or employees involved. We do the entirety of the investigation here in police services and then we turn that entire investigation over to the Citizen Review Board. The Citizen Review Board determines whether the investigation conducted by police services is sufficient. Did they do enough? Is the report consistent with the facts? We do give opportunity for the person who lodged the complaint uh, to come in and talk with us. We will talk to them apart from having any officers in the room also so that they can feel like they can be open and honest with us my fellow members on the committee and I must set aside any notion about who's right and who's wrong. It's very difficult after the fact to look at a situation that occurred and we've got uh, information from the complainant. We get uh, photographs, we get audio recording, uh, video recording. They can ask questions of the officers if they wish, they can talk to citizens. Typically, police services will take 30 to 45 days to investigate a complaint, come up with their reports, and, and run it through their chain of command before we will see the file case. Uh, we will get the case, and depending upon the length, we can even turn it around anywhere from a week to very commonly about a month. We usually have about three training sessions each calendar year. They want us to see what they're up against and, and uh, taking a subject into custody and about half of our cases involve um, inappropriate use of alcohol. We see what happens when a uh, suspect is compliant and cooperative. We also see what happens when a suspect resists. It helps me to relate to the complaint, how the complainant felt and what prompted the complainant to, uh, to fill out the form. There's a number of times when it's definitely not fun when you're going over investigations that impact people's careers. That's a very serious task. In some of those cases, it was hard to decide who was right and who was wrong. People are imperfect. Um, witnesses are imperfect. Uh, policemen are imperfect. And complainants are imperfect. 
Um, but that's our job. We have to go and, and look at those things and make some decisions. I will say my own confidence in the police has increased through my service on the Citizen Review Board. Most of the time the police keep a very controlled attitude in situations that are, to be blunt, very difficult. The board looks at it and after the board is done taking whatever testimony they want and asking any questions they wish, they then go uh, issue a report to myself and the city manager. Sometimes members of police services won't really like the result that we come up with. On the other side, uh, sometimes the complainant won't like what we come up with. The chief of police makes the final determination on whether or not the uh, officer engaged in inappropriate action. Will I be notified of the findings? You will. Both the complainant as well as the employee are notified of the findings. The results of the police investigation will be given to the person who lodged the complaint, and they will know exactly what the Citizen Review Board thought, independent of any other result that comes from police services. Hey, this is a choice assignment. This is really an exciting opportunity to, to see something uh, that we normally don't get to get a good look at, and that is how law enforcement works in, in our community.